in Second Life open your inventory. Then click on the plus sign, then upload, model. A file selection browser opens. Locate your coffee cup Galata file, and select it. Now the Second Life Mesh Importer opens. You now see your coffee cup in the preview area. When you press the left mouse key and move the mouse then you can zoom and rotate around the object. When you also press the control key, then moving the mouse around will change the viewpoint of your camera. In the top left corner of the panel you find a text input field, there you can see your model name. At this moment the model is named Cylinder. You might want to change the name to Coffee Cup now. And when you find your model looks as expected, and got the correct name, then press the Calculate Weights and Fee button. After a few seconds you get informed about, the upload fee, the land impact, the download costs, the physics costs, and the server costs. We will talk about these numbers later in more detail. Now press the upload button. And when the upload is accomplished, look into your repository. There you find your coffee cup. Raise it on ground. Okay, this coffee cup is somewhat big. But let's keep that in mind for later. Let's first check how we can texturize it. Let's give it some color first. That works. Now let's add some shininess. Good. And now let's see what happens when we give it a texture. I choose a test pattern here. This looks weird. And it looks like it is not easy to texturize this mesh. Let's see if we can get better results when we use a planar mapping. Okay, we are stuck by now. Are we missing something here? Have we done anything wrong in our model? Yes. We have forgotten to tell how we want our textures to be mapped to our model surface. And Second Life cannot guess that. So we have to provide this mapping, and in the next chapter, I will show you how this is done. So let us rush back to our Blender laboratory. But before I go deeper into texturing let me first fix two issues. First let's take care of the object name. You should get used to always give reasonable names to your objects, otherwise you will quickly get lost in the chaos. You find the item name in the properties sidebar. Let's change it to coffee mug. We have further seen that the cup is by far too big when it is raised in second life. We can control the object size in Blender. Right now you see that the mug's size is 2 blender units on each axis. By default one blender unit corresponds to 1 meter, hence right now this cup is a giant. If you like you can tell Blender to display sizes in metric units. Go to the Scene Properties section. And there switch the units from none to metric. Now you see all sizes in meters, centimeters, millimeters and so on. Let's resize the cup to reasonable values by pressing S and scale it down appropriately. And finally zoom in. We are now done with our model. In the next chapter of this tutorial series I will explain in more detail how 3D models are texturized in general, and I will use the coffee mug as my demo model.